1965, construction work started on Tizernagabert Hill. There were several proposals where to build memorial. And finally, no man's land, absolutely desertous area called Tizernagabert. It was a shooting range here and a place for animal grazing. Tizernagabert, or translated in Romania, Swallow Fortress. The legend says that the temple of Armenian goddess Astrid was here, and the symbol of Astrid is a swallow. Archaeology also proved that the area was fortified in early Bronze Era, and antique level and a Bronze Era level, and the late Middle Ages, the area was inhabited. And uh, this plateau was decided, not occasionally, because when you walk towards the central part of the memorial, on the right-hand side you have the panoramic view of Ararat. So symbolism also and the geography of the selection also is very important. Why in Yerevan? Because Yerevan is center of Armenians. Homeland is here. There were nearly 100 projects submitted to the attention of a special jury. This project was codenamed, very interesting name, Flag of Soviet Armenia. So 30 years old architects, Sashur Kalashian and Artur Tarkhanian submitted and this project became winner. The project really is very impressive. It consists of three main parts. The main alley leading to the big plateau, central plateau, shows and symbolizes a big tombstone for those who perished in the Syrian deserts. Central part of this plateau is open, symbolizes an open grave. So 12 blocks surrounding eternal fire symbolize an open grief and in the middle eternal fire symbolize a victim. The only symbolism with the genocide is diameter inside is the 15 meters. So the symbolism with 1915. When you pay tribute, lay flowers and you go out uh, from that temple or this open grief, you see obelisk 40 meters high, which initially was a monolith obelisk. So at the last moment, I, as uh, Sashur Kalashan told me, they cut into two pieces this obelisk, which will symbolize part of the tree striving to the sun. So the obelisk is a symbol of life, continuity of the life. When you walk towards the eternal fire, on the left-hand side, you have a wall of memory. On that wall, there are carvings, starting from Istanbul to Derzor, showing the places of massacres and uh, atrocities. So three main components of this memorial makes it a very important and impressive monument for all of Armenians. And as you see in many diaspora uh, uh, communities, in many cities populated by strong Armenian diaspora, some structures and design elements of Tizernagabert memorial were reproduced. There are a lot of popular interpretation apocryphs. Uh, people try to interpret because it's a very emotional place. Groups or individuals try to interpret by bringing their own version in the symbolism of, uh, of the memorial. Of course, the 12 blocks cannot symbolize 12 regions because regions were 15. <laughs> of course, uh, two parts of obelisk cannot symbolize Western and Eastern Armenia because, as architects told, it's a part of the tree striving to the sky. The site is very impressive, especially in April 24. Every year I'm surprised because of this, witnessing the power of memory, the power of tradition. When people, starting from the early morning, six o'clock, they walk group by group under heavy sun, under rain, windy weather, but they walk. This is tradition from their fathers, grandfathers, and I'm sure that new generation will continue this tradition.